Hi guys, it's your main man, Multiplexing Gamer here, coming at you with uh, the fourth video in my series on economics to the national economy, and I'll be looking at the average and marginal propensity to consume. So there are two types of propensity to consume. There's average propensity to consume, and there is marginal propensity to consume. And basically, an average propensity uh, basically refers to the percentage of income that's spent on goods or services. So basically what this means is is that if you've got £15,000 as a salary per year then you're going to spend say £5,000 on food or something like that. So it's how much of your income you're spending over an average of like the whole year, the average of your whole income. Marginal propensity to consume is slightly different in the fact that it's more of like a single event where you have more disposable income. So an example of this would be, say, if you win £500 on the lottery, it's how much of that disposable income that you spend. So it's not income as such, like you're earning it in a job, but it's just a one-off payment or how much money you have at the end of the month after you've paid taxes or things like that. If you wanted to calculate these two um, propensity to consume, then these formula are on your screen now. APC is often referred to as average propensity to consume, and likewise for MPC. So the average propensity to consume is the consumption divided by income, and the marginal propensity to consume is the change in consumption divided by the change in Y. So if you have any questions on how you'd um, apply this to a certain question, then comment below and I will be able to answer them. If this video has helped you, then please like this video, subscribe for more economics tutorials, and please like my Facebook page, the link will be in the description box. Thanks.